the horrifying moment of your life when you realize that your own boss has called up and you didn't even recognize him. This is what basically happened to Lieutenant Greg, who was working tirelessly, not just for anybody, but especially for Darth Vader. For a short period of time there, in the legend comic Star Wars Dark Times, A Spark Remains. In issue number two, Lieutenant Greg was basically Darth Vader's right-hand man. We talked previously about him a couple of days ago in a video where we see him getting reprimanded for letting a prisoner escape and being witness to the failed mission of Darth Vader and the 501st on a way distant planet searching for Jedi survivors. We'll talk later about what happened when Darth Vader caught Lieutenant Greg being fooled by a prisoner that Lieutenant Greg was in charge of. But at this moment in time, on this comic, issue number two starts off on the night skyline of Coruscant. Beautiful as ever, even during the Imperial times, although a little bit bleaker. In one of the data command centers, there was Lieutenant Greg. He had long since stopped counting the hours he has to put in to search for signs of Jedi activity out in the galaxy. It was his duty to serve Darth Vader, and Vader loved nothing more than to hunt Jedi all across the galaxy, putting Lieutenant Greg in charge. The prospects of of success seemed as remote as the possibility of pleasing his master Darth Vader. Lieutenant Greg, though, still tried his best and working tirelessly every night in the wee hours of the morning. To him, nothing was a priority, no family matters, no calls, nothing else other than pleasing his master or trying to please him as much as possible, although Darth Vader was not known to be a satisfied Jedi hunter. Even if Lieutenant Greg right now found a Jedi prospect to hunt down, he would always need to supersede himself over again and find more and more Jedi for the taking. You see, Vader's hunger for the Jedi could not be fed. It was simply the fact that Darth Vader was searching for Obi-Wan Kenobi by any means necessary, and to find him, he used every single resource he could. He wanted to collect as many Jedi as possible and interrogate him for none other than the hideout of Obi-Wan Kenobi and finally getting his revenge. And this is the end result, my friends. It is Lieutenant Greg who pays the price. Him having Having no personal life, just simply working for Darth Vader. Having a deluded mind, working without sleep. And this is what led to his misunderstanding. As he had grown impatient and tired, somebody was calling him incestuously, and he suddenly burst out in a slight anger, asking the corporal, what is it? He is busy, insinuating to leave him alone. And a voice simply replied, Yes. As Lieutenant Greg glanced over, a bit unamused trying to see who said that, and all of a sudden he was shocked beyond belief as he immediately turned toward the figure. It was gratifying to see such diligence displayed in one so young, said this caller, and it was none other than the Emperor of the Galaxy, Emperor Palpatine. Lieutenant Greg was so tired working without breaks that he did not recognize the Emperor of the Galaxy. People trembled before him, and now Lieutenant Greg would be lucky to escape with his life. Palpatine said, Tell me, Lieutenant, do you always pursue your duties so long into the night? Even Palpatine was shocked to see the devotion that Lieutenant Greg had towards Darth Vader. Greg started stuttering uncontrollably. He said, Your Major, Your, your Highness, he could not control his words. He told him that Lord Vader demanded results by any means necessary, and this seemed to please Palpatine, recognizing the power that Darth Vader had, even in the mind of some people. What was Darth Vader instructing Greg to do exactly? Greg told Palpatine that he was running searches of data logs, and he was searching after action reports and calm traffic for indications of Jedi activity. After letting his strategy be known, 
No, Lieutenant Greg simply let his head down, humbled and scared for his life as to the way he addressed the Emperor of the Galaxy. But Palpatine did not retort, did not reply, he just mulled over how devoted Lieutenant Greg was really. Being pleased with the Lieutenant, he simply told him to carry on, and he did not want any word of this conversation to be relayed to Lord Vader. And just as he had appeared, similarly he disappeared into thin air from hollow communications, and while Lieutenant Greg was holding his breath in panic after Palpatine left, he let out such a sigh of relief that it would be hard to imagine even for us right now. He had escaped death momentarily, and what's worse, he now needed to keep secrets from Darth Vader, something that he wasn't keen on doing. He hated failing Darth Vader. This is what happened when he failed Darth Vader last time. Prisoner. Falco asked Captain Greg what's on the agenda this morning, and the lieutenant corrected him. They were taking him to a new level, which Lord Vader had designed for him to be tested on. Falco scoffed at another test. All this time they were playing by their rules, and it was time to change them. Falco took the opportunity to kick Lieutenant Greg in the shin, and then grab the blaster of one of the clone troopers, proceeding to immediately shoot one of them and hit the other with his own blaster. Once the clone troopers were incapacitated, he then pointed the blaster at Lieutenant Greg, who was in no way faster than Falco sang, and he warned him to not draw a blaster. Now he ordered the lieutenant to click the release button for his cuffs. Without having a choice, the lieutenant proceeded to do so. He clicked the button and released Falco Sang immediately. Sarcastically, of course, the bounty hunter thanked Lieutenant Greg and made his way to the exit. But not before giving a scare to Lieutenant Greg, who was incapacitated for just a second before he grabbed his blaster, but it was already too late. Falco Sang was on his way to the exit. His whole life flashed before his eyes. Lieutenant Greg knew that if this prisoner escapes scot-free without them catching him, then he would have to answer to Darth Vader, who had put him personally in charge of training and keeping Falco Sang captive. You could basically say that his worst nightmare was becoming true. He needed to get up as fast as possible and run after this now fugitive. And as soon as he turned around, his face dropped in shock. Darth Vader was in front of him. Unfortunately and unlucky for this prisoner, it was at that moment that Darth Vader had decided to draw by. The prisoner did not even attempt to do anything further, and once Darth Vader met up with Lieutenant Greg again, the lieutenant apologized for letting the prisoner escape, but Vader immediately warned Lieutenant Greg that if he cannot perform his duties, this prisoner will immediately have a new jailer, a new warden to look after Falco Sang, to be trained and to be kept imprisoned. And Greg, of course, knew what this meant. If Falco Sang had a new jailer, then his future and his life would be in dire jeopardy. It is not without reason that Lieutenant Greg thought so, because he had seen Darth Vader operate many a times. He knew what his overlord was capable of. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and let me know what did you guys think about Lieutenant Greg. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe for dailies. Now you can have an awesome day, Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video, and may the Force be with you. Until then.